This is Twit. So um, at the end of March 2018, a Swiss site, abuse.ch, initiated its most recent project, which they call U- URL House, H-A-U-S. Um, I've got a link in the show notes for anyone who wants more detail. And I sort of rewrote their statement to f- kind of bring it current. It was written sort of in the past tense and 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 with some and, – and these are – you know, it was written in English probably by non-native English speakers. So, the, you know, their English is way better than my Swiss. Uh, they wrote, at the end of March 2018 – uh, abuse.ch initiated its most recent project called URL House. The goal of URL House was to collect and share URLs that are being used for distributing malware. And wait till you hear how many. The project was a huge success <clears throat> with the help of 265. And Leo, I had to force myself. <clears throat> Not to write 256 because my <laughs> my fingers they, they just, just automatically a groove they just in your brain. it's I don't even yeah it's like okay wait a minute two to I, the eight I, yeah. it's obvious yeah not 256 <laughs> 265 uh, security researchers spread across the globe URL House was able to coordinate the takedown of almost 100,000. Malware distribution sites. Holy cow! In twelve, mu- I'm sorry, in ten months. During that time, these <clears throat> 265 researchers identified and submitted. Get this: in average, 300 malware sites to URL House each day. Wow! In order to help others to protect their network and users from malware campaigns. Working with the security community, URL URL House managed to get the attention of many hosting providers, helping them to identify and remediate compromised websites hosted in their network. They say this was not a simple task, especially for large hosting providers who have tens of thousands of customers. And consequently, a great many hijacked websites within their network that are being abused by cyber criminals to distribute malware. Nevertheless, they write, URL House in average count in average counts between four thousand and five thousand active malware distribution sites every day, which is, they say, way too much. The following chart shows the number of active malware distribution sites tracked since the launch of URL House. The blue, and it's sort of sad, uh, the blue line indicates the number of abuse reports sent out to the corresponding hosting providers and network owners. So what's interesting here is, first of all, for those who are listening and cannot see, um, the the graph spans um, June 12th of 2018 through January 15th of this year, and that it shows a red that the active malware sites creeping upwards um, from at the beginning at around 2,500 up to a max of it it just barely crosses 7,000. Now, that's not because that many new sites were created. That's the awareness of them that was growing during the project as the 265 ge- you know, globally distributed researchers were feeding 200 to 300 new URL reports per day into URL House who was – aggregating them and and consolidating them and counting them. So the awareness of these sites kept growing. Meanwhile, there was a an ongoing background effort shown by the blue line to to thwart this. And what's interesting is there is uh, looks like uh, maybe in um, September on September 2nd, a little but maybe between 
the, the, the second and the 11th somewhere, though that's where the graph is marked, there's a big blue spike up to 3,000 where 3,000 malicious sites were reported during a small period of time. And that sort of seemed to tip the tip the scales. And we then see over the course of, of September, October, no, November, that the number of sites dwindling and then another little uptick and then there's some more reports and then they get pushed down again. So the point is it is a – this graph shows a, a real cat and mouse ongoing battle between malicious sites being created and then being taken down, then being found, then being reported to to URL house, then URL house reporting them out to the – hosting providers saying, hey, uh, you probably don't, aren't, aren't aware of this, but this domain name uh, has got bad stuff on it. Uh, you should take it down. It's hurting people. So um, that so that so that table. Uh, uh, oh, so then they also have and I have it in, copied in the show notes, a, a, a table uh, which they say the table below shows the top malware hosting networks. Now, again, this is not the network's fault. This is, you know, necessarily, uh, although you can draw your own conclusions, hosting active malware content, counting online malware distribution sites only as of January 20th, 2019. Okay, so that's very recent. They say, as you can easily spot, two out of three of the top malware hosting sites are hosted either in the U.S. or China. Um, and what was interesting and a little sad is the length of time it takes for reports to be acted upon. The worst were Chinese sites. Um, uh, what they said is what is also an eye catcher in on this table is the takedown time of malware sites hosted in China. The three top Chinese malware hosting networks have an average abuse desk reaction time of more than a month. So from time that it's reported, four weeks go by before any action is taken, um, which is unfortunate. Although in general, um, it's not good. If I look here for the, the, the shortest one, there was actually one of the Chinese networks was uh, three days, 11 hours and 50 minutes. The worst was one month, 23 days. <clears throat> okay. So that's wow. way over a month, almost two months. Um, and they had 163 malware URLs. The next biggest was 256 malware URLs. That was a Chinese site or a Chinese host uh, to, that took a, that reacted after one month and nine days. On the other hand, the number one hosting site a provider was Digital Ocean in the U.S. And they had 307 malware URLs. So more than any other provider and their reaction time was six days, 12 hours, and 56 minutes. So, um, I know, I certainly... We should mention, the, by the way, they're a sponsor, as you know. Okay. And one of the and, reasons people use them is it's so easy to spin up a site, <laughs> right? Right. It's the simplest well, yes, thing to do. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and also, I, I was just going to say that th these guys have to be responsible because they don't want to take down a site. They, you know, they, they shouldn't take down a site based on right. a report without verifying right. it. Right. So otherwise you've got, you know, script kitties maliciously reporting good sites that they don't like as being malicious and getting them booted for no good reason. So, so, good. you know, yeah. with, you know, when you have a huge number of sites, there's a lot of remediation work uh, and burden that, that you, that has that goes along with it. So, um, uh, anyway, so they went on to talk about what malware was found there, uh, and the the number one malware by a long shot was something called Emotet, which is a very capable and increasingly flexible Trojan, which is sort of multi-purpose. It gets in, and then uh, it's 
uh, polymorphic. It changes shape. It, it's very hard to deal with. And of course, the bad guys are constantly churning out new domains to host this stuff and then spew out links in social networks and on on download sites and, and in ads and wherever they can to get people to click on them, to download the malware and then uh, go from there. So, uh, boy, well, that's the, unfortunately, that's the world that we live in today. Crazy.